William Doherty is grateful to be able to walk again thanks to his new stainless steel knee, but he still has trouble moving around. I can't kneel down. If I get down on the floor, it's hard for me to get up. Now material scientist Robert Haddon is working on an alternative, developing a way to grow bone inside the body. He's using these tiny carbon structures called nanotubes. They're 100,000 times finer than human hair and work as a scaffold for growing new bone cells. It's the highest strength material known, yet extremely light in weight. Haddon says the scaffold formed by these nanotubes is similar to that of our bone's natural support material, collagen. As reported in the journal Nano Letters, fellow researchers at the University of California, Riverside, confirmed that bone cells can start to grow on these nanotube structures. But Haddon says growing bone cells is still a long way from growing new bone. Now, whether it would work, whether it's toxic, we don't know any of these things. But he says this research is one small step towards helping the body repair or replace its own broken bones. I'm Brad Closa.